What's up YouTube, it's your boy JB and we're here today with the review for The Oval. This is season two, this is episode number 14 and the episode was titled The Target. All right you guys, so I'm just gonna keep it real with you and this review might not be up to par because I'm still, I just finished that halves and a half nights review and I'm still pissed off about that. I still have questions, <sighs> so we're gonna get through this. Like the video, you guys. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Hit the, you know, hit all the buttons. Stop taking me on the date. I am, I don't, I can't even say my um opening. Let's get into this review. I will say that this episode was just a little bit better than the haves and a half nots. Not much, but a little bit. So we picked this episode up with Ruth and um Barry. So you guys remember in the mid-season finale that Ruth kidnapped Barry, right? So she tells him she'll take him to Cali, but you know she tells him that there are some people that want to meet him because he's caused them a lot of grief. He's like, what do you mean I've caused you guys a lot of grief? She says, because you have been going, um, cause you have been, um, you know, you've been, you went to the police, you've been on, 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 um, social network, social media, talking to people that you should have been talking to. So they want to have a council to make sure that you're not going to, you know, do anything else. It doesn't make any sense. So, she, so then she tells him, you know, that, you know, he asked her, why did y'all place that knife in my room? She says they were trying to stop you from talking. Really? So planting a knife on him was supposed to stop him from talking? Girl, it don't make no sense. Okay, whatever. So then we see Sam. So he's at the police station talking to Jake, right? So Jake asks, you know, tells him he looks stressed out and Sam tells him he's fine. So then Jake hands Sam a flash drive and he asks him like, you know, what's going on? What have I got myself involved in? And Sam tells him, don't worry about it. He says, uh, absolutely. I just sent some of my people on a dummy mission. What's going on? So then Jake tells him, you know, be careful. And then he tells him that the DOJ took over the crime scene. And Sam tells him, well, you know, if they come back, just give them my name. But he said the DOJ took over. But then he also said that the crime scene, you know, people, they have, it's, it's a little questionable. I'm like, you know, you think? You think? You think? Like, like I pointed out in, la like I pointed out earlier last season. Well, earlier in the first half of this season that none of this shit makes sense with this whole Greg and, um, what was her name? What was old girl's name? Greg and, um, what is her name? Laura. No, that was, Ms. Laura's the white woman that died. Nope, I was about to say Ruth. What is her name? What is her, Jean, Jean, Jean. I have to think about it, what was her name? So yeah. Like I said last season, none of, like I said in the first half of this season, nothing made sense. Why Greg, Greg, he committed suicide. Committed suicide. He committed suicide. So he put a gun to his head like this, right? Why was Greg face down on the bed? Why is there, why is there no gun by his body? This was staged. Okay. I'm gonna move on. All right, you guys, so then we see Kyle. So Kyle is with, I don't know who the hell those people were, but they were, they were, they found a cabin where, you know, um, Max and Bobby are right. So they can't really get any intel on it. So then um, Kyle tells them that they are ter they're terrorists and that they're trying to plot to kill the president and that they want to take them out by drone. So the, the guy that he's talking to says, we can't do that without the authorization from, you know, um, you know, um, the president. So he's like, well, how about we get the chief of staff? You know something I just thought about? We have not met whoever, Hunt who is Hunter's fucking vice president? We have not met his vice president yet. Are we ever gonna meet his vice president? And how many days have they been in the White House? They have not, they, I don't even think they've been in the White House a full week at this point with all this crap that's going on. 
I really don't know. You know what? I think I think Jeremy from the Haves and Have Nots review. I think he did. I think I saw a video of his where we are going to be introduced to some more characters at some point, and one of them is the vice president. You guys can let me know in the comment section below. So then we see Ellie. So Ellie goes home to Alan. This was a bunch of nothing, basically. He tells her he's not leaving, right? And then he asks her, was she fucking the president? He tells her that she's nothing more than sex hunter, which that's actually true, unfortunately. She's nothing more than a piece of, you know, ass to hunter. So then they argue back and forth. So from the gist of this conversation with them, neither one of them were from, you know, the D.C. area. They moved there. He moved there for her, so I guess that was so that she could get her career. But then he said that he got her the interview. We got her the job. She says, no, you got me the interview. I'm like, how? Uh, I'm not even going to go back. I'm not going to go there. So then she tells him, um, he want, he tells her he wanted her back. She says no. She tells him, you know, he tells her that she's just a number to Hunter because he's, he's moving with numerous women. She says it's much more than that. I'm like, no, ma'am, it's not. You're just another number. You're just another notch in his utility belt. Literally. Literally, you're just another notch in his utility belt. So let's move on, you guys. Like, I don't think this episode, I don't think this review is going to be that long. Because this episode kind of is all over the place. But it, if I'm grading this episode, I'm going to say that it was better than the haves and the have not. It was 10 times better. Nope, I'm not going to give it that high. It was two times better than, it, nope, it was a, it was just a half a percentage better than the haves and the have nots. Let's move on, you guys, because I'm ready to wrap this up. The episode wasn't bad. It's just that I'm just frustrated and I'm still annoyed about the haves and the have nots. That's where I'm at. I'm just annoyed with that. So I'm sorry that this review might not be that good. I'm just really annoyed with the way that the haves and the have nots ended. If this show ever gets a series finale, Tyler Perry write it better. Is that my computer that keeps dinging? I don't know. Let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys. So Kyle goes and talks to Donald about the terrorist and wanted to use a drone, or do a drone strike and hunt. And Donald's like, a drone strike on U.S. soil? So then they talk in code for a minute. But Hunter says, I mean, Donald says, you know, he asked him, where is Hunter? Kyle says he's in a residence. So then he goes, he leaves to go toward the residence. So we see Hunter. He goes into the bedroom where Victoria is, right? And Victoria is watching the news. And on the news, they are saying that this whole, this whole murder thing, this whole thing with Gene and Greg, it doesn't make sense, which it does not make sense. But even someone would, even Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles could see this and tell you it doesn't make sense. Well, whatever. So Hunter turns the TV off and Victoria was like, I'm watching. He's like, you've been watching it. So then, you know, he says to her that he put the DOJ on this. And she was like, why in the hell would you do that? He says, because it's his attorney general and we can see where his loyalties lie. So you think the attorney general is going to sit here and lie for you because your, your son is a murderer? Okay, Hunter, because he says he don't know who they can trust in the FBI. These people are sworn to uphold the law. So you want them to obstruct justice for you. Okay, Hunter, I guess. Whatever. So then Donald knocks and, you know, he, com they, he comes in while they're talking. He tells them that there is an enemy on American soil and they need to do a drum strike. And Victoria's like, what? Why would we do that? Hunter wants to do it. Victoria's like, no. Like, it has to go through Congress. He's, she's like, well, he's a, well, he says, but he's a president. Hunter says, do it. Victoria is only the only one with some common sense here. Because literally, Victoria is the only one with common sense. You gonna send a drone? She was like, on a, she's like, really? He's like, it's in, it's in a rural area. Okay, 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 okay. So Donald goes back outside where Kyle and that other guy is, tells him he got the clearance and that he's going home.
Yeah, you guys, if you, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm, I'm trying not to be frustrated. I'm still, I tweeted that I, I, I tweeted that I couldn't, um, you know, maybe I should have waited. Maybe I should have waited until tomorrow to do to do to do the re- to, to, to do this review. Maybe I should have waited. I think I should have waited. I really believe I should have waited to get do this review. You guys, I'm sorry if this review is not up to par. I really am sorry. I really am sorry. Cause I'm trying, but I'm just getting frustrated because the writing is just not making a lot of sense to me. But we're going to move on. All right, you guys. So Kareem. So Kareem is talking to Sharon. He's so happy about hiring. What is that dude's name? Dale. So then he asks her how long before he thinks that Dale can open up. She Before she thinks that Dale can open up the store by himself. She says, give it a couple of weeks. He, he says, that, 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 that long? She's like, that's actually quite soon. He says, but I want for us to sleep in. I'm like, oh, my God. Here's Kareem being thirsty and desperate so he asked her to move in with him she says you know maybe i'll just go stay with my sister he says the one with all those kids she says kareem you know i'm pregnant right he says yes and i'll love you and i'll take care of you so then she questions him about his baby mama he says oh she'll be fine so then dale comes in they're gonna go out to dinner although the place closes in 30 minutes that's rude but that's neither here nor there, right? So then Dale tells Sharon he likes them two together. She tells him, well, we're not together. But they're, like I said, they're going to go out to dinner, right? So then we see Donald. Donald goes home to Lily. Lily tells Donald, you know, hey, Donald, we finna lay down some ground rules at this point. She tells him, rule number one, I'm a, I get to see whoever I want to see. Rule number two, I can sleep with whoever I want to sleep with. And I'm doing it in this house. And then rule number three, she says, you come home when I tell you to. He says, oh, hell no. And then, you know, he threatens her to kill her. She's like, come on, Donald, do it. So then he calls Kyle. I don't know if she hung up the phone or if he hung up the phone. Somehow somebody hung up the phone. So then she tells him, you know, do you know this person here? Do you know this? These are reporters, by the way. Do you know the son, um, the invade? That's General Hospital. The Sun, you know, In Touch Weekly. I'm, I'm naming actual magazines. In Touch Weekly, you know, um, The Daily Mail. People like that. She's naming these people off, right? Because I can't remember which which magazine she named off. But she's, she told him that each one of them, they have a key to a safe. Is that what she said? Wait, what did she say? Yeah, key to a safety deposit box in the case that something's happened to her, something happens to her and they have this number. So if something happens to her, they have this number and then they'll go to the box, open it. I, get, I don't know what she has in it. I'm assuming it's, what, wait, what could Lily, what could Lily have in a safety deposit box that Donald wouldn't want anybody to get a hold to? Hmm, because they don't really know, I don't, they don't know much. So I wonder if Lily is bluffing, but I don't think Donald wants to take that bluff you know, take that chance, right? I believe Lily's bluffing, honestly. I believe she's bluffing. But then, where are we at? He called Kyle. He told Kyle to stand down at that point, right? So he asked her, can I sleep with whoever I want to? She says, yes. Just as long as it ain't Kyle. We're good. Let's move on, you guys. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to wrap the episode up because I'm a little tired of talking about the show right about now. So Sam, Sam goes home to Priscilla. So Priscilla comes into the room. She got her lingerie on. You know, she wants to give Sam what he's been asking for, sex. So Sam's like, oh, no, baby, let me take a shot. She's like, oh, no, Sam, I want you like you are right now. I'm like, ugh. He's been at work all day. You want him sweaty and musty? Okay, I guess so. But he, like I said, he wants to take a shower. Like I said, she says no. So then she, he asked her what's wrong because earlier she was mad as hell at him. She's like, oh, Sam, I realized that you would never cheat on me. And if you said that she threw herself at you and you turned her down, I believe you. So then she asked him, did they have sex? And he, couldn't, he says, I can't answer that. 
Then he says to her, I'm sorry. She tells him, you know what, well, get the fuck out and never come back. And then we see Crazy Man, a.k.a. Kyle. Kyle is at the pharmacy after Dale lined up the pharmacy. Now, here's the thing that I had the issue with. It was a discrepancy issue. Max beat Kyle up in the last, in, in before the mid-season finale. Kyle's face was beat up. So I'm guessing Kyle was just having a lot of makeup to, just, to conceal that, but wasn't he beaten up? Maybe I'm wrong. So Kyle tells Dale that he wanted to see him, which is creepy as hell. Dale tries to open his door. His door won't open. Kyle tells him to get in his car. He's like, uh, no, I was with Dale. No, Kyle. You know what I was going to do? I think I'm going to skip New York, Real Housewives of New York this week because it really wasn't much. Yeah, we're going to skip it. Or we'll do it tomorrow. What do we want? You know, we'll, we'll do it tomorrow because I'm just not feeling it tonight. We'll do it tomorrow. We will do it tomorrow because I'm just not in the mood right now because this show, these two shows, really was just the haves and the have nots. Mmm. So they had a back and forth, right? Dale even, Dale told, could tell Kyle he's not going home with him. Kyle kept asking him and begging him to get in the, basically begging him to get in the car. Kyle left pissed off. Now here's the scene that I thought was the funniest. Sam, so Sam went over to Richard's house. He was pissed off. He thinks Richard told Priscilla that he had sex with Victoria. Richard says he didn't have, he didn't tell her that. 